Hi everyone, Marine here for Long Fun. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are making a cute and simple little scene, but we're going to bring more interest and add a foil vellum overlay panel on the front to hide the lower part of our scene and this way surprise the recipient of the card. So we're going to use the snowflake background hot foil plate a tree, chimney smoke, street lamp and greeting from Winter Village, the bow from Christmas Dreams, the bear, tree, wreath and snowbank from Car Critter's Christmas Add-on, the snowman from Tiny Winter Friends, the houses from Simply Celebrate Winter, Santa and the trees from Winter Skies, the car and another bear from Car Critter's, more chimney smoke from Happy Village, we also have a simple stitched hillside border die and the largest stitched rectangle stackable die. So, coloring first, I stamped all those cute images using Landform Jet Black ink and as always, I cut them all using the coordinating dies and I'm going to color everything using my alcohol markers starting with the houses that I'm going to color in a rainbow order this way they will pop even more from behind the vellum overlay panel.
So the coloring is done. I can move on to the background. I cut a five and a half by four and a quarter inches Bristol panel. I placed the three main images on top of it to help me divide it in different sections. First, I'm going to color the sky. So I am marking the bottom of the houses. Off screen, I added washi tape. And now I'm going to create a bright blue sky using from the top to the bottom salvage patina, peacock feathers and blueprint sketch oxidings. I find this color combo just perfect to make a winter sky. You definitely can feel cold and frozen vibes with those colors. So our sky is done, let's peel the washi tape off and set the panel aside to dry for a moment. And with the editing magic, it's already dry and we can start working on the lower part. I protected the sky with washi tape and now I'm dividing the bottom part to create a road. And I've already added a little bit of salvage patina oxiding on the edges, but for some reason my camera didn't bother recording it. So now we can color the road, nothing too fancy here, I'm only using hickory smoke oxiding to keep that road pretty light. Now let's gently remove all the washi tape to reveal our landscape. The lower part seems a little bit too flat to me, so before moving on to the foiling, I'm going to add some texture and snow details. And now let's foil some vellum. I cut a vellum panel longer than the snowflake plate because I will fold this top section to stick it to the landscape panel and create the overlay. I also have a silver foil sheet. I'm placing the plate on top of it with the snowflakes against the shiny side. I'm keeping everything in place using washi tape. And here, the second light on my glitter hot foil system is solid green. That means I can put the plate on the machine with the vellum on top. Now I can add both acrylic plates that come with the machine, as well as four pieces of cardstock. Those four extra pieces will help to get a nice foiling. Next, I press the button and I wait until the third light stops blinking. So now the light is solid green, so I can disconnect the system from the base and run it through my die cutting machine back and forth to get a nice foil impression on the vellum. Now let's put the system back on the base. We can remove the shims and plates and we can check our panel, beautiful and super shiny. Now, while the plate is cooling down, we're going to trim our vellum panel. Of course, we do not cut the top part because we will need it to attach our vellum panel to the background panel. But we can trim each side to get four and a quarter inches wide and we can cut the bottom as well. Next, we need to make a score line on the top part. So I'm placing the left end of the panel on the five and a half inches mark. And I'm using my ball tool to make that score line. 
Now let's fold that line we just created and see this is how it will look. Love it. But before attaching this vellum overlay to the background, we are going to stick the images using foam squares, liquid glue and glue dots. So now let's assemble the card. I added double sided tape on the inside top section of the overlay. We also have two heels, one with our greeting and two bows. I cut that heel in a way that the car is hidden behind it. And we also have an identical heel that I am keeping blank. So I'm first attaching the decorated heel at the bottom of the vellum panel using double sided tape. And I'm sticking the second heel at the back. This will hide the tape we used to attach the first heel. Now let's stick the vellum overlay to the panel. I'm peeling the backing papers off. Next, I'm flipping the background panel and I'm placing it at the back of the vellum panel. I am making sure that both pieces are all lined up. And then I'm folding the top of the vellum overlay to finally join both panels. The final step is to attach my panel to a white card base. And our silver foil vellum overlay Christmas card is done. I really love that cute surprise when you lift the vellum. And I hope that you will give this easy technique a try. Thank you so, so much for watching. And see you in the next video. Bye.